Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and today I'm going to show you how you can create order bumps for your sales funnel in your WordPress site. So let's begin. So as you can see, I'm on my dashboard and I already have WP Funnels and WooCommerce installed in my store and I've already added some products in WooCommerce, right? And uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use order bumps uh, while creating a sales funnel using WP Funnels. Okay, now an order bump is basically a quick offer you can make right on the checkout page which a buyer can accept with just one click, right? And this is a special sales funnel technique which allows you to increase your order value right on the go, okay? While the uh, person is about to pay, he gets an offer which he can accept with just one click, all right? So uh, in the next few minutes, you'll learn that when you create a sales funnel with W Funnels, how you can add order bumps uh, to your checkout page, which will help you increase your sales, all right? So let's begin. Now, as you can see, I'm on the WB Funnels overview. I haven't created a funnel in this site yet. So I'm just going to click on add new funnel. And this is going to give me options to our templates. So for now, I'm just going to use the very basic template, which is this one. Uh, let me just click on import. This is an evergreen template, which I'll be using. And there you go. I've just imported a template where I have the landing page, the checkout page and the thank you page. Okay. Now, when you first create a funnel in WP Funnels, you first need to assign the main product for which you're creating this funnel. So let's say I'm gonna create this funnel uh, for a headphone, all right? So I'm just gonna select the checkout step, click on this settings icon, and over here, uh, I'll just assign the headphone that I wanna make this uh, funnel for. So I'll just choose headphone. Uh, there you go, this Sony headphone. So this is the main product that I want to offer in this funnel, okay? And uh, there you go. So now uh, what I'll have to do is I'll obviously have to customize the landing page design, uh, the content there, and also in the checkout page and thank you page to match my product, all right? Uh, but for this video, I'm just gonna quickly use this uh, template and here I'm gonna show you how you can assign the order bumps so that you can apply it yourself next, okay? So uh, for now, I'm just leaving the content and the page designs as is, uh, which obviously you have to optimize when you create a file. Now in the checkout step, if I click on preview, okay, normally this is how the checkout looks like okay so this is the checkout form and you can see this is the product i assigned as the main product of the funnel so when someone says he wants to take this offer in the landing page he'll come to the checkout page and this is the product that will be added in the cart okay now uh, obviously i want to show you how to use order bumps so that this becomes more sensible and more uh, applicable to increase your sales all right so let me just go back to my canvas and here I'll select the checkout step and I'll click on the configure icon. And once I click on that, this is going to open this drawer. Okay. This is specifically for the checkout step. Now here I'll click on this tab, which is the order bump tab. Once I click on this, you can see this gives me the option to add order bump to this funnel. So I'll click on add order bump and it's going to be added here. So I can click on this to, you know, unfold this and here, First thing I need to do is I need to assign the product that I want to offer as an order bump. So I'm gonna offer another headphone, which is probably better than the one I had in the funnel, so that when someone comes to the checkout, he gets an option to choose a better headphone, uh, which obviously costs more. So if he accepts the offer is better for you, at the same time, he also gets a value that he's getting a better headphone. All right, so I'm just gonna choose the other headphone that I have, let's see, and there you go. So this is the other headphone I have. So let's say I'm just gonna write this. Uh, so there you go, so that's the content. And you can see I already have a 10% discount in my e-commerce store. Uh, if I want, I can add more discounts to it. But for now, I just wanna leave it as it is. The rest of the text looks just fine. Okay, so this is the order move offer I have. Now, uh, let me just save this, okay, and cross it out. Now let me give you a preview of how the checkout page looks with the order bump. Let me select the checkout step and click on preview. And you can see that in my checkout step, I already have the order bump here, okay? Now, if I click on this option, grab this offer, it'll get added to this uh, checkout. If I click on it again, and this will be removed from the cart, but I still have the option to select it. So that's how easy it is to use an order bump, okay? Now, there are more options that you can use to make this order bump even better. So let me just go back to the canvas, go to the configure of the checkout, and go to the order bump tab. So now, when I enter this order bump, first of all, I have the option to choose different templates. So I can choose other styles that we have, which is style two, which looks like this. 
style 3 which looks like this style 4 which looks like this this preview is awesome right i mean this gives you an exact view of what's going to happen in your checkout page and we are adding more styles so that this order room can look even better okay so if i choose style 2 this is how it's going to look let's leave it at that this looks much better okay uh, now you can see uh, how this will turn out when it's on the front end all right so it makes more sense now uh, there are more stuff you can do you can see that you have uh, selected the product and gives the product title if i want i can change the name of this title i can change the highlight text which is this purple color text right here uh, so let me just add a hyphen so that you can understand there you go and i just showed you how to change the uh, description okay now you can also change the checkbox label which is this one so i can say i uh, grab this offer now there you go so i can change this as well all right so these are certain customization options you have now depending on which order bump uh, template you selected you'll have different options here which you need to use to make this order bump more meaningful okay uh, now if you scroll to the bottom there's this option called discount now even if you don't have a discount in your store on a product you can still offer discount in your funnel and this is what you use uh, to do that so if you click here and you give a percentage discount so let's say i'll click on this it'll let me choose will this discount apply to the regular price or the sale price so i'm just gonna put it on regular price now you can see on my store i already have 10 percent discount but for this funnel i want to make it 20 percent so i'll just give a 20 percent discount on this now you can see that the discount is applied to it and it's 80 dollars so now my order bump is going to show the discount that i assigned in this funnel okay and now uh since i mentioned 20 percent there let me just change my copy right here and there you go so now once i'm ready with this i can click on save changes and this order bump is ready if i cross this and preview the checkout page uh you will see that i have the order bump with this template i chose and the changes i made all right again it's the same thing i click on this it gets added i click on this again and it gets removed all right but you can see the price is actually the changed one that i just gave which is 80 the discount is applied uh, on the order bump okay so now if i go back to my canvas okay here i'm going to show you some more tricks uh just click on this and go to order bump all right let me expand this and here uh you can see there is this another option called replace first product basically if you enable this what will happen is if someone accepts this offer it's going to replace the product in the uh, funnel okay let me just save this and i'll show this in action uh, let me just preview the checkout page and you can see this is here if i click on this which means i'm accepting the order bump it's going to replace the main offer you can see now i only have this one here instead of the one i had before if I click on this again it's just going to bring back the one that was there so that's the option uh, you have to replace the main order okay so if i go back to the canvas now uh so far i think i've shown you everything you need uh to configure an order bump properly here uh there is one more thing you need to consider which is the order bump position basically why you want to place this order bump but uh, we prefer you don't change it here you change it while you're designing the page because at that time you'll have a better idea of where this is being placed all right so there are about six positions where you can uh, place the order bump so let me give you a glimpse of that uh, let me just edit the checkout step and it's going to open up in my preferred page builder right now i've selected elementor as my preferred page builder if you have a different one you can choose that in the settings of wp funnels uh, if it's not a supported page builder you can just choose gutenberg and then edit the pages with your page builder while using our short codes for the widgets okay so now uh, you can see that the checkout page is loaded and uh, this is the design that's going to appear in the front end but what i want is i want to change uh, the order bump position now this form you're seeing this is basically our widget which is the checkout widget if you click on this on the left side you can see it gives them option to change the layout and at the same time it's giving me the options of the order bump so what's important here is the order bump position if I change the order bump position, let's say I'm going to choose it before checkout details, you can see the order bump will be placed right here rather than where it was before. Now, uh, let's say I'm going to choose, uh, let's say after customer details, all right? So this is basically after customers imported details. Uh, you can see at the very bottom, this is the offer. So you can make changes to the position of the order bump however you want, but it's always ideal to place it somewhere around the order because that's what people are surely going to look at okay so i would rather uh, keep it at before order details which is kind of place it right here all right 
So there are many different positions uh, you can use, uh, whichever is suitable for you. All right, so you can use that. So let me just update this and that's it. Okay, so now let me go back to the canvas. Uh, here, the next thing you need to know is how you can add multiple order bumps, all right? So you click on order bump, all right? You can see on the right side, you have this button that says add order bump. When you click on this, it's gonna add a second order bump right here. Now you can expand this and then again, assign a product and configure it. All right, so uh, let's say I'm gonna add album. So since the customer is buying a headphone, I think he or she will love to listen to music. So I'm just choosing album as another order bump. And this time I'm gonna change the position uh, to before checkout details, okay? And uh, I'm not gonna give any discounts on this. I'm just gonna save this and that's it. So now if I preview the checkout page, uh, you will see that I will have two order bumps here and both of them are individual in its own. For example, if I click on this, this is gonna be added the order. Okay, if I click on this, remember I chose this one as replacing the first order uh, or the first product and that's what it did. It replaced the main product that you had for the funnel. If I select this again, it's gonna come back again. Uh, and uh, if I select this again, it's gonna choose that one, okay? So yeah, that's how easy it is to use order bumps in your sales funnels using WP Funnels. You can use multiple order bumps, place them in different positions, customize it, all right? So you have your full control. You can even provide individual discounts to your order bumps, uh, even if you're not running any discount in your WooCommerce store, all right? So this is really a powerful feature. Uh, if you can add relevant products uh, as order bumps, for example, let's say if someone is buying a running shoe, uh, you can add a relevant product such as uh, socks as the order bump. That makes more sense. Or you can add something I just did here. I just offered a better alternative to the main uh, product and that might also be a great thing. All right. And adding discounts will make it even better. So that's how easy it is to use order bumps uh, in WP Funnels to create your sales funnels. Uh, and I hope now you'll be able to use this feature to create amazing sales funnel for your WooCommerce store, all right? Uh, in my next videos, I'm gonna explain more features, so stay tuned for my videos. Thanks for watching, take care.